Hey friends, now I'm going to share an important story with you. An elderly carpenter was ready to retire. He told his plans to the employer contractor to leave house building business, to leave more leisurely time with his wife, enjoy himself with the extended family. He would miss the paycheck each week, but he wanted to retire they could get by. The contractor was sorry to see the talented worker. He went to him and requested him if he could build just one more house as a personal favor. The carpenter agreed. He started work. Over time, it was easy to see that his heart was not there in his work. He resorted to shoddy workmanship. The competent carpenter turned into a cor corrupted carpenter. He used substandard materials. He used inferior materials. That was the unfortunate way that ended his career. One fine day, he completed his house. The contractor came to inspect the house. He inspected the total house. He handed over the front door key to the carpenter and said, my dear friend, this is your house. This is my gift to you. The carpenter was shocked. What a shame, what a shame. If he had only known that he was building his own house, he would have done it much differently. Yes. Just apply this story to our lives. It is with us. We build our lives. We build our lives day at a time, putting our efforts less than we putting less efforts than our best. One day we realize that we have to live in that house we have built. So this is an unfortunate situation. We cannot get the back time. We cannot get back time. We cannot go back. We are a carpenter. Hammer a nail, place a board, and erect a wall. Some other day, someone says, Life is do it yourself project. Yes, life is do it yourself project. If you could do it over, we would do it much better isn't it so your choices your attitude your attitude your choices you make today help build the house you will live tomorrow your attitude your choices you make today help build the house you will live in tomorrow therefore Build your house wisely. Build your future wisely. Dear students, I hope you could understand. Thank you.